So what is the secret to getting veneers ultra thin? Well, first you want to print them at about 300 microns. That's about the thinnest you want to push the printers because otherwise you start to get distortions, delaminations and, and micro rips and tears. <clears throat> and so here we have a print off of the sprint ray and it's right about 300, 400 microns right off the bat. And so the first thing I'm gonna do, I clip those little supports off and I'm gonna use this felt wheel from Comet to finish the little support bumps that are left. And this is actually the secret to the thin veneers. You're going to go ahead on a model preferentially is use that felt wheel, which is ultra gentle. And you're gonna take it from 300 microns down to about 100, 150, wherever you wanna go, you could go thinner than that even. And here I'm feathering out that margin to almost nothing. Um, and what you're going to be doing when you do this is creating like an ultra thin skin, like a whisper thin shell of a veneer that uh, is going to make even cases you didn't think that you could do additive possible with an additive technique. Um, and this is how I've been able to do so many veneers for my patients, no prep, um, by using just 100 microns, 200 microns of, of material. Here we are at about 150 uh, microns. And I could go even thinner than that if I wanted to, but for this particular patient, we're going for a pretty big color change and that's about uh, 200 microns is kind of the sweet spot for that. And here we could see uh, after it's been finished with the felt, look at the perfect fits. There's like absolutely um, nothing more incredible than a printed margin uh, when, when done properly. And now from here, we're just gonna go ahead and finish it up just like we normally would. You could use your candy coating technique that we teach at the Mod Institute, which is ultra easy. And essentially you're gonna put an ultra, ultra thin coat of native resin on top of the veneer. Once glazes get better, we could use glaze in these scenarios, but currently all the glazes just honestly uh, are kind of terrible out there. So then we're going to interdiffuse colors and tints into that liquid resin layer um, at your liking. Typically, we're doing some mamelons, a little bit of translucency, a little halo here or there, uh, whatever your heart desires. But the key is interdiffusing it down into that liquid resin so it's protected. And then you're going to go ahead and polymerize that. Curing that, and now I'm going to go ahead and throw that in a little tub of glycerin. Um, once it's initially tack cured, pop it in a little bowl of glycerin and pop it in, in this particular case, the Nano Cure. Um, and once that's out, it's going to be pretty much done with the optional ability to further hand polish it. But check this out. I'm going to just go ahead and mark on the tooth a little, a little line so you guys could actually see how translucent these bad boys are uh, when they are at this like 200 micron thickness and thinner. They're, they're basically like a contact lens where you have a complete chameleon-like effect where the veneer soaks up the surrounding chromas and actually looks a lot more natural. Um, almost felt spathic-like at this point. Check this out. So cool, guys. I hope this helps. Can't wait to see your veneers.